Made in China, bitch. What a shock. I now, we all know Nikki Tutorials is very cute. Of course they want to use her photo for their app, but compensate her for using her photo. It's just really shady how these Made in China, bitch companies try to scam YouTubers. 7.59 a.m. Oh, hey, bitch. I'm just in my bubble bath. There's just so much drama. I just don't know how I'm going to film today's video. I had to just take a quick little soak before posting today. I hope you can forgive your girl. I just need a moment. Many hours later. Wobbly, wobbing, wobbing, wobbing. Ass so fat, all these bitches is throbbing. Bad bitches, I'm your leader. Fade by the meter. Somebody point me to the best ass eater. I tell him clean, I tell him piggy. Give me brain, cause all of them piggy. If he got a man dingo, then I buy him like a shiki. And bus is open in the island of like Kiki. Oh, hey girl, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Mango Tea. Mango Tea. Made in China, bitch. Come tell daddy all the trauma. Hey, don't attack him. He's a very, very good boy. I love you so much, Investigator Poodle. Drama Poodle? Do you have drama for daddy? Tell me the drama. My goodness, Drama Poodle, I had no idea about that. Thank you for telling Daddy all the drama. Okay, so bitch, Drama Poodle was just telling me all the drama about Nikki Tutorials and how an app is using Nikki's image without her authorization, making her a spokesperson of this app without her even knowing, and how Nikki Tutorials has a possible lawsuit against this app that's using her image and likeness. Before we get to that, go down and click your girl subscribe button, turn on your bell notification, tap on Mango T's bell, you'll get notified of all the latest YouTube drama as it happens as long as you click subscribe and that little bell icon. Also, I'm going to be posting exclusive drama on my social media. So if you go to at Steven Mango on Twitter and Instagram and follow me there, you can watch my Instagram stories, Jeff does them as well. You're going to get some exclusive dances when your girl's in the mood and wants to do a little dance. I'm going to be posting those on my social media. The Drama Poodles over here also have an Instagram. They're at Phineas Penelope on Instagram. So go over to the Drama Poodles Instagram, spam those poodles, let them know that you girls love them. And here we go with today's video on Nikki Tutorials without further ado. Okay, so bitch, as you girls know, I am married to an attorney. So I always tend to look at things from a legal perspective. Even when I make a video for you guys, I like to check with Jeff, who's both my husband and my attorney, just to make sure that there's no grounds for a lawsuit from what I may talk about on YouTube, for example, or if I post something on social media. You always want to be very careful when you're, say, talking about someone else, for example. So then you may be wondering, how does that tie into Nikki Tutorials? Nikki Tutorials is actually a very big public figure on YouTube. She has millions of subscribers and you can't just say, for example, take a photo of Nikki Tutorials and then say, I am selling mango tea sponsored by Nikki Tutorials. I can't do that unless I have her written authorization to use her image, her likeness, her voice, her videos, or any of that sort of stuff. It's different if I'm, say, exposing Nikki and I'm using a clip from her YouTube video as fair use, but it's different if it's for a commercial purpose. The right of publicity, often called personality rights, is the right of an individual to control the commercial use of his or her name, image, likeness, or other unequivocal aspects of one's identity. It is generally considered a property right as opposed to a personal right, and as such, the validity of the right of publicity can survive the death of the individual. Personality rights are generally considered to consist of two type of rights, the right of publicity, or to keep one's image and likeness from being commercially exploited, without permission or contractual compensation, which is similar to the use of a trademark, and the right to privacy, or the right to be left alone and not have one's personality represented publicly without permission. I can't use someone's image to go ahead and advertise my mango tea business if I had such a thing for 
whether you're Nikki Tutorials or another YouTube star or just a celebrity in general, your image is going to be used without your authorization and it's just kind of what's going to come part and parcel with being a public figure. Say for example when your girl was a model, your girl actually modeled for the cover of Boston Magazine. I don't know if anyone could dig this up but I was in a spread in Boston Magazine when your girl was 14 years old and 45 pounds thinner. Your girl was a very big fashion model. So I know that years later when I saw the image of myself in a whole different publication, I said, oh, the photographer must have sold it to whatever website that they ended up putting your girl's photo on. That's different if they then have a contract where you can use that photo indefinitely or you can sell it to different publications or whatever but I needed to get a check for that. I should expose the old modeling agency I had who never gave me a cut for reselling my image and using my photos and anyways it's probably not worth my time to go into all of that. We're here to talk about Nikki today. At Nikki Tutorials, these people are using your face to promote their app. So Nikki got very upset after seeing that her photo was being used on this Photoshop app and this is what she tweeted back. Makes me so mad. Where's company's decency lately? Please report if you scroll across. So then I decided to look a little bit more into this app. This is what I found out about the company on the App Store. The app is called Photoplay Photo Expert and was created by Charlie Cartilage. The description is, Photoplay is a powerful photo editor. It can make you charming in a second. Besides basically photo editing function, it also has powerful in-depth editing function, such as muscle, ab adding, hairstyle, and eye color changing, and so on. It was given one and a half stars from all the reviewers. I downloaded it and it doesn't save the images to the body. Waste of time. Also for you that are worried about the $25 charge, you won't be charged if you go into your settings and unsubscribe to the free trial. You have to log into where your payment methods are stored. Expensive and doesn't work. Same as other reviews. First you can't download without accepting the 3 day trial. If you don't cancel within 3 days they will bill you 25 bucks for an app that doesn't even work. Not at all what it shows on the video. Just a scam. Be aware. Don't get. No way. It doesn't show you that you have to pay until you've downloaded the app. Once you're in the app, it lets you have a free 3-day trial, which you have to enter your credit card info so you can pay after the 3 days are over. No way. Automatic delete. This app is essentially a Photoshop type app where you're able to sort of face tune yourself, whether you want to make yourself thinner, smaller, add eyebrow hair, whatever it is. You guys are very familiar with those apps. They're all over the place. It's not like an original concept. You know, your girl even has one of these type of similar apps when you want to shed a couple pounds without actually going on a diet. You want to look cute for Instagram. I will sometimes slim my body down a little bit so I look better on Instagram until I actually get in shape and can get myself over to Gold's Gym in Hollywood. And I noticed that a lot of these different photo apps are also based out of China. It's made in China, bitch. What a shock. Alibaba.com. No, it's not from Alibaba, but it's made in China, bitch. And what a big shock that is. Not. So they are using Nikki's image. This is the ad for reference. The app is called Photoplay Photo Expert. It features a photo of Nikki and the ad says beautify your face in a second. They did not have Nikki's permission to post this ad. Nikki has stated that she's not affiliated with this photo app and that if you do see this app that pops up, you should report it so that they're not able to continuously advertise with their image. Now someone like Nikki may have millions of dollars to be able to defend herself against companies using her image for a commercial advertising profiteering venture. And I think it may be a good idea for her to sue to set an example so that other companies learn that these YouTubers are not just free pawns that they can go and mess around and use for their own purpose. That you have to compensate YouTubers for, say, using their image. This app is basically saying that Nikki Tutorials gives a thumbs up on this product that she's almost like a brand ambassador because they're using her image. It didn't necessarily say anywhere on the advertisement, this is not a sponsored post or Nikki Tutorials is not affiliate, this is a photo of a model. They don't say anything, they just use her photo. Now we all know Nikki Tutorials is very cute. Of course they want to use her photo for their app, but compensate her for using her photo. It's just really shady how these made in China bitch companies try to scam YouTubers 
by doing things like this. I'm sure this isn't the first time this happened. I just want people like Nikki to know that you do have legal recourse. It is going to be very expensive, but you should go ahead and try to seek legal remedy if you have the financial resources to do so. I do think it's also really cool that Nikki used her platform to tweet out and put this company on blast and say, hey, you can't get away with using my image. Report these guys as spam if they pop up in your advertisements on like a sponsored post or any of those sort of things. So I do think that it's kind of part and parcel with the course of being a big YouTuber that you're going to have these companies trying to take advantage of you or use your photo. But it's kind of cool to see that Nikki made a post to call out these guys and we'll see where it goes, you know? Also on the topic of Instagram and other social media sponsored posts. Do you guys actually buy any of these products that you see being sponsored by Instagram models or about YouTube influencers? Do you guys actually buy any of these products that these social media people promote? The skinny detox tea, the those sort of things. Do you guys have any experience using those products? Are these products bad? Do you guys even read those posts or actually think like, oh, so-and-so is using this product, let me buy it, when you know it's a sponsored post? Or do you guys just know that it's a money-making thing? I always wonder that, because I don't think I've ever really bought anything that a YouTuber ever has promoted on their page. So Let me know what you guys think about that as well. Also, make sure to leave comments down below, give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed to your girl. I'm almost at 15,000, and when I'm at 15,000, I'm gonna do a giveaway, and I'm also gonna be launching my Made in China bitch merch, Mango Tea merch, Drama Poodle merch, Private Investigator Poodle merch. It's all coming at 15,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching me, for sharing my videos, giving me love on social media. Again, at Steven Mango on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bonus footage for you bitches. Okay, so bitch, on the topic of Nikki tutorials, I've been having the strangest dreams about Nikki. I don't know where this comes from. I think it's because before I go to bed, I look at social media a lot, or sometimes I look at YouTube videos before bed, and then I end up dreaming about the people that I was looking at on social media. But your girl has been having repeated dreams where I visit Nikki, and it's very odd. Like the dream the other night, we were in a car going to a YouTube event, and Nikki was doing my makeup in the car, sort of like when Jeffree Star did those videos where he was doing makeup with like say Nikita Dragon in his car or something like that. We did a challenge, Nikki and I, where she was doing my makeup in the car, and then this huge, huge semi truck crashed into our car, and I ended up in the hospital, and the thing your girl thought about is, what a waste of having Nikki Tutorials do my makeup when we just got into a car accident and I'm not gonna be able to wear that makeup out. Like that was the first thing I actually thought about, not about my injuries, not about anything. The thing I thought about in my dream was, shit, now I'm not gonna be able to wear this makeup out to the YouTube event. And then again, these dreams are just continuing on about Nikki. So, and the reason I bring this up is maybe one of you girls out there are a dream analyst. Maybe you can tell your girl what these dreams actually mean. I'd be very interested to know in the comment section down below what that dream actually means. Thanks so much for watching. I have no idea who this girl is by the way.